about 10,000 years ago, our ancestors rarely suffered from the effects of tooth decay. So what has changed? Our diets are vastly different, encouraging the growth of particular bacteria which produce acid and destroy teeth. In advanced countries, life expectancy has increased, so we need our teeth for longer, but the struggle is to keep them for a lifetime. 10,000 years ago, our ancestors lived on what they could collect, kill or scavenge. Their numbers were small and their environments could generally support them. Seasonal changes and longer term climate fluctuations affected food supply, which they learned to control by farming crops and keeping livestock. Their success has led to the growth of civilizations and a dramatic change in food types. Over this time there has been a shift towards highly concentrated starchy foods, a good source of energy, but with effects on general health promoting diseases such as diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Tooth decay also increased. Over the last 50 years food has been modified to make it more palatable, convenient and marketable. There has been an increase in sugar content and availability of drinks with added sugar and acidity that has not occurred in the human diet previously. This change in diet has encouraged the growth of harmful bacteria, which as a side effect of them striving to survive and grow, cause tooth decay. Our teeth and immune systems have not adapted to this kind of assault. Soon after birth, protective bacteria grow in our mouths, but acidic foods and drinks kill them off, allowing harmful bacteria to invade. Sugary foods encourage the growth of bacteria, which cause decay. As teeth decay, the broken parts allow even more bacteria to grow, undisturbed by chewing forces or toothbrush bristles. The situation spirals out of control as the bacteria make their way deep into the tooth, causing abscesses with swelling and pain. Once the outer layer of enamel has been breached, we may begin to feel sensitivity. But often people don't, until a great deal of damage has occurred inside the tooth, when pain may begin and increase in severity. Damaged teeth provide traps for food debris and bacterial growth contributing to an even more rapid decline. Even apparently healthy mouths may hold surprises for us, so it's important to have regular dental checks. For most people, six monthly appears to be right. Some are safe for 12 months, but a few may even need to be seen every two months. If I make no comment to the contrary, you can assume six monthly checks are the recommendation for you. You may have heard government recommendations that intervals between checkups should be 24 months for many. This was voiced for political reasons, and should everyone follow this advice, the effect would be catastrophic for the dental health of many.